There we go. The Medell account. <coughs> there has been some criticisms that it doesn't uh, simulate recombination. And this video is to refute that. The first with the most dramatic example. This is a rat. A rat population. Size 3,000. Uh, rough 10,000 generations. There were, it's done with 1,000 linkage blocks. Linkage blocks are, are the how many are... <coughs> it's basically the size of, of the gem that's going under recombination. The smaller the linkage blocks, the I think better the recombination. Here's... And this is purely asexual, no recombination at all, and it bear don't even get past 1,800, while the one re if recombination is still alive at 10,000, and only lost half of its fitness. Roughly half its fitness. <coughs> I also did a little experiments with this if others like say here's the, well I need to show you here's yeast when I did it here's the graph you can see the let me see if you can get actually get you to see the fitness number. I think you can't see the mouse, but this one's did of let's plot. Here's the fitness. This is, I think, the asexual one, and that's its fitness number. I think this was a protozoa. Well, probably per the genome was bigger, but much smaller than a rat. I think this was just playing around with a smaller ge genome. Now we go to... One that was... <coughs> undergoing combination and plot. Hard to get that number up there. There you are, that's the number. And there's a difference, but it's not much. This is why I want to show the number. It seems smaller genomes, since also they have genomes are smaller, I also made the mutation rate less based on, like, I think I based the mutation rate on its genome size. So look, smaller creature organi or, organisms with smaller genomes can go through a lot more generations and without losing as much thinness over time according in this simulation. I have a E. coli. I I got the numbers off the I think it for the genome size for new tab. Off 
this site to do the little playing around with the simulation program. I only simulated asexual because I assume that bacteria are only asexual. I did it for 40,000 generations. And here it's number. Can get it over in focus. There you go. You can see it there now. There isn't much to ch change, so it makes sense why, like say, bacteria with small genomes are asexual and still alive, while larger ones are, lo are more, more likely not to, to be sexual, so they can go under recombination too survive or they would all be dead by now I'm pretty sure care okay, this is a I'll show you the human the general hu human graph this is done with 1,000 linkage blocks and I'll try to get you to show the number This was done with 1,000 linkage blocks because I did it in the older one, which you couldn't. It was. This is 1.41, which you actually can change around as more features than the other one. The other one, you couldn't change around the linkage blocks, nor could you do asexual mode or sexual mode of. Now for the human, oh, I can't believe I forgot the, the human one lot. Let's see here. Now where's the one that says, ah, here we are. This is done with 1,000, I mean 5,000 linkage blocks. Okay, we are recording. Human in 4. I did it with 5,000 linkage blocks. Okay, here he is. As you can zoom in, the number is, the fitness number, like, same generation, same number. The only thing different from the last cage was how many linkage blocks there are. And I got a higher number. The other one was 7644. Here it's 7753. So, the smaller the linkage blocks are how many, or the size of what's are basically what's going undergoing a combination, the more effective a combination is. Dr. Stanford hypothesized that if recombination wasn't happening between every nuclei, I mean, the, was it happening every nuclei and you actually got blocks or chunks going to recombination, that recombination would be less effective.